going on everybody? Hold on, I got some crazy stuff going on here. Let me, uh... Let's see if I can... Alright, here we are, damn it. Had to get... Had to fix some of that uh, audio issue here real quick. Had a couple of things going simultaneously here. Let's do this here. How you guys doing tonight, man? I see a couple of you on. We're waiting on our guest here. And I suspect he should be calling in here soon. Until then, we'll... Uh, let's see here. I am going to show you uh, one of the people uh, that has uh, been a big supporter of the show. And they have their Kickstarter going right now. They're local. And that is uh, Bifrost Bridge Studios. And they wanted me to show you this here. So let me see if I can... Uh, uh, let me see here... Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Boom. All right. I'm going to do a screen share. One sec here. So by Frostbridge Studios, uh, I will put the link in the chat here. But they have launched their new book now and let's take a look here let's do screen share all right perfect all right let's play this here real quick So you guys, if you want to support them, uh, I will uh, have that link in the uh, in the description of the video. I'll put that uh, link in the description here shortly. And it looks like uh, oh, Curtis uh, is the uh, creator, owner, uh, w founder of uh, Bifrost Bridge. And uh, it looks like Dennis Gomez is the artist. Really cool. Okay, okay. Hey, what's going on on Candy Swag? So, saying hello to everybody here. We've got uh, Comics Talk Weekly, lovely Amy Joe. We've got Breakout Daily, Norse Cali. What's going on? And 
let's see what we got going on here. Minimize this. We are, like I said, we're just waiting for our guest here. Uh, while we're waiting, uh, let me see. Let me message him real quick while we're waiting here. But we're really excited. If for some reason he can't make it on the show, uh, he's in, I think he's in California, actually. So let me see here real quick. Let's see if he's on. I'm messaging with him on Facebook Messenger here. Let's see. All right. As soon as he pops on, we'll uh, get them all dialed in here. And uh, let me see here. So, while you guys are waiting, let's uh, do uh, our sponsors real quick, and then uh, uh, I'll share with you some other things that have been going on, and then uh, show you the big surprise uh, reveal. One sec here. Our sponsors, the Awakening Espresso, located right here next to the shop. Go get the best drink in town, then hang with us at the shop. EGS Comics Grading Services, we can get them hot custom labels. Michael Ray Photography, our preferred choice for boudoir, cosplay, couples, all your photo needs. And unleash your inner savage at Frosted Axe Throwing, the only place in town where you don't catch a felony charge with locations in Anchorage and Eagle River. Rep the best shop ever with our swag shop. Go to our website, click swag shop, order the coolest gear and rep us all over town. And support content like this on our Patreon. Hook it up. Homelight. Do you have a house you need to sell? Maybe a secret layer? Contact Homelight today for all your home selling needs. They got them agents at the ready. So check them out. And of course, Dave Eller Financial Services with Edward Jones. Because unless your name is Tony Stark, you're going to need Dave Eller. So check them today. And make sure you follow us on Instagram. Because yo, we're, we're hilarious. Hysterical. <laughs> Ladies, do you want to look awesome in a pair of Aegis leggings? Well, make sure when you order, you order a size larger than you normal wear so you don't look like a busted can of biscuits. You never know what someone will look like in one of these pairs of leggings. Hey, what's going on? Let me. Let me, let me. <laughs> that, that video was hella funny. It was so good. Hold on, let oh. me uh, let me fix this here. I uh, haven't updated it. Uh, we're uh, truly a professional operation here. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Me too. <laughs> let me. Uh, uh... Oh, there it is here. <laughs> see if that works yeah all right garrett man welcome to the show welcome to the Go show on. guys if you can give us a uh, uh, little comments can you guys hear us okay can you hear both of us okay do i need to turn up his volume or are we good i'll look in the comments here see what you guys got to say i think we should be good but let me make sure here just in case <laughs> And so, Garrett, man, uh, I've been to, oh, we're good to go. Everybody can hear us. So, Garrett, uh, dude, it's been kind of a roller coaster for us. Uh, 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 Jamie, one of our customers, is the one who connected us with you and told us yeah, all Jamie about Stout. you and told us about your, your Kickstarter. Uh, uh, yeah. can, you, can you tell us a little bit about the project? Uh, um, yeah, and, for sure. And a little bit about yourself, too, please. Yeah, sure. Um, first, me. Uh, my name is Garrett Gunn. I'm an American comic book writer. I've uh, been published for about eight years. 
I write a number of series, um, uh, including Frankel and a Ghost, Warcorns, Go West, um, uh, Good Boy, which is a uh, recent uh, success, uh, and the newest book, Postmasters. Uh, I'm also a disabled combat veteran, and uh, I live in Northern California. Um, yeah, that's me. Let me look here. So, and all through Source Point Press, correct? Yeah, yeah. Earlier in my career, I was published by a couple of different independent publishers, but uh, I'm now a staff writer at Source Point Press. Yeah. They, uh, so before we go into the current book, that good yeah. boy is fire. We just ordered a bunch of those for the shop. <laughs> yeah. And uh, can I, I sent, the way we understand it, it's essentially like instead of John Wick, what if it was... Yeah his dog correct can you expound yeah, so on that yeah so uh good boys reverse john wick so basically the human dies and the dog hunts down everybody responsible oh my god <laughs> it's see. uh it's sort of like homage-esque but i mean there's definitely we definitely have our own story to tell um there's just a lot of what we call wickisms which is i mean if you're a fan of john wick you're gonna read it and be like i see what you did there oh I my get god it. yeah so this is uh this is it right here this is good yeah. boy Yep. And we're going to have, so yeah, so it's the reverse John Wick, the dog, yeah. the dog lives and decides to get some payback. I yep. love it. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And and we were able to score a bunch of these for the shop. We're ordering directly from Source Point and uh, these should nice. be uh, making it to the shop here shortly. So that's awesome. Guys will have an opportunity to read this bad boy. And, yeah, it's a lot uh, of fun. Uh, so the next thing uh, 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 would be, of course, the... Uh, your current project, yeah, uh, the one that we just uh, uh, the uh, the Kickstarter just got completed. Uh, yep, let's talk about that real quick. Yeah, it's called uh, Postmasters. Um, it's a uh, sort of there was an eighty uh, terrible eighties movie called The Postman with Kevin Costner, and it's like that meets Resident Evil. Um, oh. It's basically set in, it's set in a post COVID America where like seventy percent of the population died, and uh, mail carriers have sort of reverted back to like hand carrying mail um while also like sort of navigating like dangerous terrain um and monsters just to make things worse um the book is a 48 page it's it's a two-part series the each part is 48 pages in magazine size so it's like a premium oversized book sort of like the dc black label stuff that they do oh yeah um yeah they're very very nice um the interiors are done by ruben moco uh, Dave Lentz is our uh, letterer and designer, and then me and my friend Christina Blanche, who also writes Good, uh, Good Boy with me, uh, and a number of other things. We write Postmasters. God. Uh, and what was the motivation <laughs> to to do this book? So uh, during when COVID first started, I went I actually went to work for the post office um, because uh, I mean I've been I, I was retired from the army um, because of combat injuries. And I was like, man, I, I like, I need to go back to work because I need to make more money. <laughs> but right, right. I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I've got federal time with like being in the military. So I was like, if I go to work for the post office, that'll count on top of that. So I was like, oh, sick. That's that's dope. Plus, like, it's fast paced. I like fast paced work, whatever. And so I went to work for the post office and it was awful. It oh, was no. not even not even like the I mean, the workload wasn't even the worst part. It was like the customers, like how people treated you and like the behind the scenes kind of stuff that like letter carriers go through and like they, they just all this. And it's just crazy. It was though it was like the worst month and a half I've ever had at a job. Um, and so I, when I got done, I was like, man, like, could you imagine if, like, on top of all this, you also had to, like, deal with it in the apocalypse? Like, yeah. this would be terrible. Um, it, it was just brutal. But it was a lot of fun. And it was, I really like stupid concepts, um, which is, like, everything I write. Um, <laughs> and this just seemed like something to have fun with, you know, to poke, to poke you know, fun and, and to have, you know, to basically make fun of all the bullshit that I dealt with at the post office. So, right. Yeah. It's, uh, it was just crazy. I, uh, as soon as I, and uh, I'm going to show guys the, the Kickstarter here real quick. And so as soon as we checked out the Kickstarter, we just knew like, <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, the just this dual wielding badass postmaster. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's sort like of fall. Post- it's yeah. So they sort of like when people join the post office, uh, they sort of like it, it's sort of like an indoctrination, and they so, you know sort of give up their identity, and they're sort of issued a government like uh, you know you are no longer this person. You are now you know postmaster thirty two and here here's your assigned here's your assigned weapon here's your assigned route here's your assigned whatever go forth and deliver the mail um and that's that's it if you go on that page i think if you go on that page you can click campaign and it'll pull you it'll pull up the it was showing you the updates because that's like the newest thing if you click to the left oh the campaign campaign. oh there we go yeah 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 (laughs) <laughs> God, I'm so Amy, happy Amy, for you. Amy, to answer your question, I would rather do basic training six times before I'd rather spend another six weeks at the post office. <laughs> Look at that cover, guy. That's going to be so the cover? Sick, yeah. yeah, that's oh. that's the cover A, yeah. And wow. now because the Kickstarter did so well, it's going to be foil stamped. So. Oh, wow. So the, so the Postmaster's part in yellow will be uh, yellow foil. Yeah, we'll we'll be ordering yeah. several of these for the shop, and, uh, <laughs> and then you'll get blue foil on that one, and that's the Kickstarter exclusive. And I mean, the art is just—it's so much fun. Yeah, it's got it, kind of a manga, a manga style. Yeah, it's it's supposed to sort of be like a manga, like a westernized manga vibe. Right. Yeah. I, 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 I feel like I say manga on purpose to be an asshole to my niece because it pisses her <laughs> off. Because manga, uh, manga in Spanish yeah, means manga. sleeve, so it's supposed to be <laughs> <Yeah>. manga. <laughs> oh, there yeah. she is right there. No, I'm just kidding. So, JC, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but oh my yeah. God, dude. Uh, yeah, we're really excited about this. And we're also excited to announce that uh, uh, we teamed up with Mike Provo. Yep. And uh, uh, came up Ooh, with that, a uh, cover. Though, are you gonna like reveal it on here? Is that? Yeah, like, uh, we're doing the reveal tonight. So oh, want everybody to see uh, uh, and get your live reaction on this too. But uh, uh, so this is the cover that Mike Provo did for. Uh, here, hold on. Here, let's go back oh, to. So good. His cover is so sick. And let me uh, grab that here real quick. Uh, let's see. I'll actually grab the. Uh, where did I put it here? Oh yeah, it's right here. Let me. I want to get the best, uh, the best version of it for everybody. Um, <laughs> I ap- I apologize to everybody. I literally had to drive <laughs> in in ice and snow to get back here from Jaybird. <laughs> and there was nothing but ditch divers out there, so it's just been one of those days. But let me. Uh, uh, so essentially. Uh, what I do is right now I'm I'm running the Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson uh, comic book shop and we got like a little gift shop and wow. everything on base, and then I I come back here to do the show. Liv is running the shop uh, out in the uh, out in the storefront. Normally Amy would be here with me, but Amy's up on, you know, uh, we get it that you got to have some other money. <laughs> <laughs> to keep things going so uh amy yeah. works up on the slope she works up on prudhoe bay so uh uh let me see here it's not oh funny. yeah all right here we go guys this is the you guys are seeing it here first this is mike provo did this for us and this is going to be our retail exclusive cover uh for uh, uh garrett's book here and then, uh, <laughs> and it's his crotch yes <laughs> golly Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, we, we, we wanted to throw the polar bear in there just to give wow. that, uh, uh, you know, that Alaska feel so that they know it's an Alaska exclusive. But uh, we, we wanted so to do sick. honor by your book. Yeah, God, it's so sick. It turned out so, so good. Yeah, that uh, at one point uh, I hit him up. I was like, "Hey, man, uh, you photoshopped the polar bear." He's like, "No, bro, that's not a Photoshop. I drew that." I was like, "Holy crap!" <laughs> he was like, "Hey, I'll try. I'll, I'll try to uh, dial it back a bit." But I mean, this is it dialed back and blended, that's and so it still good. looks like a Photoshop. Well, and I love like this. I mean, the backdrop is the best part, in my opinion. The I mean, the yeah. starry sky, like through the trees and all that. Like, yeah. it's so good. It's such a good cover, and it's so different from like. I mean, so many times, like when you have books that get a lot of variants, like you get things yeah. that look a lot alike, and this is like so unique compared to everything else. Man. It really stands out. Well, my, uh, yeah, Mike killed it. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, Mike says he's gonna uh, he'll do some signings here and stuff. We'll make sure that obviously, uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, you get 
some premiere art on it. But uh, uh, for all our Patreon that are watching right now, uh, all Patreon that are $3 and above Patreon that signed up before the 15th, you guys are all getting a free copy of this book. So what? all Sick. of you are getting a free copy of this. Uh, so uh, That's super uh, thank cool. you guys for supporting us on Patreon. We really appreciate it. And then uh, we'll let everybody know when they come into the shop, you know when we're going to do the signings and everything else uh, and if you, you guys want to i mean anybody any of them that you want signed you can send them to me and christy and we'll be happy oh, to sign that. them and send them back to you guys so Woo! hell yeah, yeah. that'll be yeah. so awesome for oh, sure yeah thank you thank you so very much man we're really excited about this book this book has a me too. it's got a really good uh feel to it and you know so we uh, uh we had a walk away from uh from diamond it was it was just too i, I, I don't want to put you guys on the spot obviously but uh, oh, we we know, personally I, we walked away diamond from diamond is. we we yeah. had to walk away from them uh they were killing us they they almost bankrupted us and now you know we're dealing with so lunar distribution penguin penguin ships to us for free yeah i mean and all their stuff when they package it now i mean they, they've overcompensated after so if you complain to Diamond about packaging, Diamond will kind of laugh at you. Whereas <laughs> Lunar and Penguin, they learn from their mistakes. They acknowledge oh, yeah. it. And yeah, long story short, we've been really happy and uh, uh, we're moving for a long forward. I mean, for, and, a, for a long time, Diamond's had the monopoly on all that. Right. And now, now there's other companies that are like, all we have to do is be better than the status quo. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So yeah. we're... We're really, really excited about this. We hope that everybody's as excited as we are about this, uh, uh, yeah, about this stoked. cover and about uh, 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 what you're doing there. So, let, let, speaking of which, let's take a look at some of your other books here, real quick. Um, yeah. So, as we look at, uh, we'll go back to source point here. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see <laughs> here. Uh, Whoops. Yeah, let's go back to source point here. So we're looking at... Uh, yeah, by the way, any of you guys that are watching that free holiday gift box right there, like at the top, if you do that, all you have to do is pay shipping. You get like a free trade, like any free trade paperback out of oh, our entire catalog. It's pretty yeah. sick. Yeah, so... And guys, that's just going to sourcepointpress.com. If you yep. just go to sourcepointpress.com. And for all of our lo local Alaskans, we will have their books here available. We've already made our, our, our preliminary order. We're really excited about that. Um, Liv, if you could do me a favor and just put that link in the, in the comments, in the live chat. That way people can uh, get a hold of that and go straight to their page. Also, please put the Bifrost Bridge website uh, in the uh, live chat as well. Really appreciate it. And okay, so we've got Good Boy. Yep. Uh, what are your other titles? I, I think here? you might. I think you might be able to search. I, you know, I don't. I'm not positive, but I think you might be able to search uh, my name. Let's see, here. Let's try that here. Uh, we did order Yuki versus Panda for the shop as well. We got <laughs> yeah. that bad boy. Uh, let me see here. Let's try. Yep. If you search Garrett Gun, you'll get a whole list of shit. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Cause I saw that other one you had. <laughs> that was awesome on on on, on uh, Facebook today. I love the uh, fuck the Nazis. I love that. That was yeah. Uh, um, yeah, Blind Justice. That's Blind our, Justice. That's a, new that's a new series that's coming out this summer. Oh, so yeah. cool. Let me see. So <laughs> yeah. we've got Christmas Caroline. Yep. Oh, that's right. You did Warcorns. I do do war corns. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, so and we've got book uh, entirely uh, dedicated to making fun of my vet friends. That's. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. Yeah. War corns so is good. the most fun. It is just absolutely ridiculous. It started as a big, just a big joke for me to make fun of all my military buddies, and then it spawned into an entire series. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jamie got us hooked uh, on a lot of these books because uh, some of these well, came you, out Jamie. pre pandemic, right? Or, 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 yeah. or right oh, during yeah. the pandemic. Yeah, yep. Like, yeah. uh, Warcorns came out like right before, I think. Right. But yeah, we got all the single issues of Warcorns. Uh, that the pink one, you can get that trade for free, that Warcorns Volume One with like your holiday 
gift box or whatever. Oh wow! So guys, straight. make sure yeah. that you go to the website and order that uh, that yeah. holiday gift box. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Good boy. Oh, I saw one variant that you had that looked just like the John Wick cover, but it uh. uh Is it the one with the guns all around? All the head? guns pointed at him. Yeah, that was oh, from the Kickstarter. That was uh, the number two. This oh, is my, my that's my favorite cover for the entire series right there. Though. Yeah, that's my absolute favorite. Oh my god, it's yeah. just crazy. Yeah, what a great <laughs> god! You and killed I got, it. Uh, I think yes. this is going to be my 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 new favorite book right now. There, <laughs> this, the whole storyline sounds awesome. Yeah, and it's we've got a bunch planned too. I mean the you know that's the the first arc is three issues. Uh, but we have six volumes that were greenlit by the publisher, so we've got five more volumes of four issues apiece uh, right. to still to still do. So the next arc comes out like in February or something, February March. And then we've got <laughs> uh, oh oh, uh, there's a one shot, huh? Let's see this one. <laughs> that's the that's the original one shot that we did, uh, and that was supposed to be it. Um, and the series got so popular, we had to do a four issue miniseries, and then we did another one shot after that birthday bash. Oh my god! So <laughs> yeah. good. So there's now like there's now like 150 pages or something like that of Warcorn's stuff out. <laughs> oh, so yeah. good. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Awesome. We've got. Let's see. <laughs> oh God, I'm just geeking out right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, Fear Diaries oh. is a book I did. It's all ages. Um, I like to say it's my most unoriginal story. It's uh, just about stuffed animals that come to life at night. Um, but it's got an awesome Larry Stroman cover. And uh, the interiors are done by my friend Nick Turris, who's an incredible illustrator. Um, but it's an all-ages book. Well, Kevin, Liv, make sure to add this to the order. We need this in the shop ASAP. It's, uh, it was the first, I mean, it was one of the first books I did, and I was like working on all this mature stuff. And I had a, at the time, like a three year old who was like wanted to look at everything I made. And oh. I was like, I was like, well, you can't look at any of this stuff. So I guess I should like make you a book you can look at because this is all, <laughs> this is all yeah. terrible. Yeah, we need this. <laughs> we need this. And uh, so these stuffed animals just fight, they just fight wars at night? Yeah, so every night. So basically, it's a reimagining, uh, like a reimagining of the boogeyman. Um, it's this uh, this woman called the Dark Mistress, who basically found a way to instead of like sneaking into a kid's bed at night and like like feeding off their fear, found a way to like infiltrate all of their stuffed animals, to, so that she could basically mass drain fear from every kid in the world. Oh. Um, and uh, these stuffed animals come to life at night and go through portals under their kid's bed to like sort of keep their forces at bay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. a lot of fun. Okay. Definitely on the list now. And, uh, <laughs> okay. Franklin and and Ghost. Franklin and Ghost. Yeah, that was uh that was like my first big series that I did. Um I tell people it's like Rick and Morty meets uh Ferris Bueller. It's uh <laughs> <laughs> it's it's about these alien symbiotes. They come from this like super boring mining planet. They're like, Man, this place sucks, we gotta get out of here, so they steal a spaceship take off but neither of them can fly so they crash like immediately uh and end up like crashing to earth to their symbiotes they need a host one of them lands in a graveyard and takes over a skeleton of this guy john pewter whose nickname was ghost uh and then one of them lands in the forest on top of this uh, uh fox that's being hunted by these like terrible hunters um for getting into their chicken coop so oh, they, wow. he, they basically just like land on earth they're like man we're gonna have a great time they steal a car and they just basically inadvertently set in motion a chain of events that could destroy the galaxy wow <laughs> wow yeah let's see yeah uh, wow okay and then we've got go, uh, go west yeah, go west is a futuristic western um uh basically about uh like an alternate history where the u.s basically gave up the western states to the outlaws um, at, to sort of be like, here you go, here's your shitty area, you guys can just stay here and do your terrible things. Um, oh, but obviously man. that's never enough. So right. one of the guys that sort of tried to leave that life behind uh, gets sort of like hunted hunted down by, by basically ex-colleagues. Uh, yeah, it's a lot okay. of fun, but it's, it's crazy Western. Yeah, this is a... Uh, uh, who's the <laughs> artist on this one? The cover is Corey Hampshire, uh, but the interior art is Stan Yak. Okay. Stan yeah, Yak's been, worked a, a ton with me. Um, 
he did the book that I did. I did a book for Billy, Billy Bob Thornton, the box masters. Oh, um, damn. Which, which is now long sold out. <laughs> I don't even think it's on this list anymore. Cause it sold out a couple years ago. Um, but he did the art with me on that and a bunch of other things. And Billy Bob Thornton wrote a uh, uh, Billy Bob Thornton uh, commissioned you to do the book or how that. Yeah. Work? So um, I, I had written a concept for a story called hardcore mega metal. Um, that was like, I, I'm a huge fan of like the old power records. Um, you know, like they came with a 45 and it was like, you would like turn, like put the 45 on it and be like, Captain America saves the day. Like, oh. like go along with the book, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I wrote this story called hardcore mega metal where it was like about this band and it was going to be like have music with it. And then I was like, I got all the way through to like almost production and I was like, Oh, I'm an idiot. Like I can't afford to like hire people to like record fake music. Um, so I, uh, my friend who is a sound engineer for a bunch of bands like corn and rob zombie and a bunch of people he was like why don't you just pitch this to a band that already exists and i was like well i don't exist in that space like you do um and he was like you know who'd really dig this is billy bob thornton and i was like fucking billy bob thornton makes music he was like yeah he's in a like really successful rockabilly band called the box bastards so <laughs> he, i i was like yeah sure you could pitch this to billy bob thornton um so he did and billy called me like the next day and was like, I love this concept. Like, let's do it. He was like, you got a story in mind? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, all right, we'll write it. And then we'll do a table read. And we like, he, we did it. Like, I, I wrote the book. Uh, I flew to Vegas to a show they were doing. We did a table read. Uh, it was sick. And, and and we got done. We did all the art. And they have they take it on tour with them. And it was great. We're about, we're about to do a sequel right now. Uh, coming out like, well, not right now. We're working on the sequel right now. It's going to probably come out in fall. <laughs> and and, what, and what's the name of the book again? It's called The Box Masters. The, the Box original Masters. one's called The Box Masters: A Twisted Tale Through Time. Um, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. All right, that is awesome. Also, their music, just in general, if you like, go on iTunes and look up The Box Masters, they their music is fucking awesome. Damn. All right, guys, you heard, <laughs> you heard it here, Box yeah. Masters. Damn it. You know what's funny? Uh, uh, <laughs> at least they'd be good. You know, I looked up. Uh, Aegis one time, just the, fir the first part of the name of our shop, and uh, it came up with all these Filipino um, uh, rock groups out of the Philippines. I was like, "What the hell?" What? <laughs> yeah. If you if, if you Google, uh, or if you if you go on YouTube and, Dude, and doing uh, it right now. search yeah search Aegis, all you see is a uh, 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 Filipino <laughs> rock groups. I was like, "Okay, <laughs> all right." Yeah, I and like, also and heck? also a lot of vape pens. Oh, no like, kidding! <laughs> images, <laughs> the images for if you just search ages and then search images, it's nothing but vapes. What I don't know, the man. hell? You're gonna need to. You're gonna need to get that. Yeah, that no out. kidding. Yeah, if you don't type <laughs> comics immediately afterwards, God knows what you get. Well, it's better than our buddy. Uh, 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 we have a friend uh, on the channel, uh, Harry Old Fat Guy. Do not Google that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. That's a terrible idea. Terrible. Holy cow! Well, while I have you on here, I'll. Uh, 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 we have a. Uh, I always show some segments of uh, some of the some of the stuff that guys missed uh, on our Instagram. So we'll. Uh, uh, I usually call it lose kryptonite, but in this case, uh, these were just straight skit videos that we did. And uh, uh, oh my god! You know, yeah. So this is just some promo stuff we did. Uh, let me see here. None of them are going to be as good as that the yoga pants video. So. Oh God, yeah. Uh, Amy's been trying to get everyone to buy those yoga pants. So I, think, yeah. I mean, I was sold on them the minute I saw that. I was like, yeah. this man's ass looks great in these. What? I need to get some of them. Yeah, yeah hold on here. Let me. Uh, uh, let me. <laughs> so we had a, uh, you know. I tell the guys, I just cut them loose and I'll tell them, hey, look, just do whatever you want to promote the channel, promote uh, on oh, Instagram. God. And I, nice. anyway, th th this is the stuff that we end up with. So let me see here. Oh, Let's my uh, God. Uh, screen share bad. here. And That's for trouble. All right. So here we go. We'll start the first oh, one God. here. Oh, my God. What? Is this stupid thing on? I just got kicked out of the <laughs> Justice League Christmas party. Because they said I was too depressing. You believe that? It's Christmas. It's supposed to be time for like friends and family. Of course, you know, I'm Batman. I don't have any family. My parents got shot in an alley when I was a kid. 
and I had to watch it happen. It was messed up. All the Robins left. I don't have any of them anymore. They either went on to other things or got their heads smashed in with a crowbar. Closest I ever came to marriage was with Selena. God. Tinian ruined that, asshat. God. I don't know what the problem is. Depressing my ass. I'm gonna go home and drink 30 bat beers and pass out. What? And, and, uh, and so then I don't we know did the part his, two. His Batman, his Batman voice, like sounded a little like Bubbles from Trailer Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he, uh, he, uh, uh, so then he does this part two, and when he films this stuff, it's during the, you know, the the store hours, and it never yeah. fails. He gets all dressed up. And then he has to run out and deal with a customer. And in this case, oh this is what one of the customers I think saw. All right, guys, thank you for showing up to this press conference at the Hall of Justice. Uh, I am Clark Kent, a.k.a. Superman. <laughs> I'm here to address what happened earlier at the uh, Christmas party. Listen, Batman didn't get kicked out for being depressing, okay? He got kicked out because he was belligerently drunk following Wonder Woman around, asking her what that lasso does and saying stuff like, oh, I got something that those cufflinks can't stop, all right? Stop feeling bad for Batman, guys, right? He's kind of a dick, okay? Any questions? Yeah. Yeah, no, we will not be going with Batman going forward. Anything else? Yeah. <coughs> They're not underwear! <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, uh, oh so then we filmed this, uh, uh, last night and uh, uh we oh didn't even it, it, we were kind of in the restaurant we didn't even take out the blooper in this one bells, batman smells robin laying egg the batmobile <laughs> lost its wheel and joker got away <laughs> oh, oh oh there she is the reason why Batman got kicked out of the Justice League. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. Hey, put the sword down, sweetheart. You don't gotta be intimidated by me. I know I'm rich and good looking and smart and rich and what you, I don't know why you got so mad anyways. Why don't you come on? Selena's not at the place. Hey, Selena's not at the place, I'm telling you. Why don't you come on? Oh, you lost a lot of weight. You're pretty thin right now. Oh. What the hell is that? You better go look. Go. No, That's right, that. bitch. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so that's uh, uh and then uh finally uh Olivia uh did the final uh 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 I, I guess uh, the final chapter in this uh, skit, and uh, it was this one today. Justice League PR. Oh, hey, Dan. Yes, I know I'm on break and I shouldn't be answering phone calls, but, uh, you know. Whoops. You no? Know, well, the work never stops going on. <laughs> the, the holiday party? How'd that go? Batman oh, no. did what? Ba and nobody stopped him? His superpower is being rich. What do you mean nobody stopped it? Okay, okay. Nobody helped Wonder Woman at all in getting sexually harassed at work? Nobody? Not a single Justice League member? God, okay, great. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily see... That, that does feel like more of an internal... Of... Superman did what? He told people what? Someone get Clark on the phone for me. We, he he just revealed his secret identity at a press conference that nobody Justice League PR. Oh, hey <laughs> yes, I know. I <laughs> That's great. So, yeah, we don't take ourselves too seriously so, here. So basically, it's it's the boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Batman's a real piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, That's so good. But uh, so the blooper where we uh, I act. Kevin didn't realize that I was going to be moving that hand so slowly and he stepped right into it. So I actually hit him in his mouth with that thing. And then, 
he ends up on the ground. It was, yeah, we were dying. Well, I, our next door neighbors are always say, wondering what the hell's going on. Alaska, bro, you're all out of control. No, no, they, yeah. uh, uh, our neighbors now next door, Game Theory, they, I think they've stopped coming over. It, uh, the first <laughs> couple times they heard us yelling and stuff, they came yeah. over concerned, and now it's just like, I mean, it is the, the boy like, who cried wolf. Just, those guys are nuts. Just yeah, if something me. legitimately was happening right now, they wouldn't come over. It would be like, oh, it must be another one of those skits. You know? <laughs> people got murdered next door. Oh, I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, man. So we, uh, um, uh, we're real excited about this, Postmasters. Uh, when's the release date? So uh, you guys will have your books in February. The actual release date isn't until almost summer. So you guys, oh. the people that are doing variants are going to get them much earlier than, than everyone else. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. We like to give people, we like to give people that like back, you know, if you're, if you're willing to take the chance on us, I mean, it's not really much of a chance because we're, we're you're awesome. books all the time. But, uh, you know, we like to try and, uh, you know, reward them by having books before everybody else. So. Oh my God. No, yeah. we, we're, we're excited. And I hope everyone else is. We, uh, we'll have, uh, the, uh, remaining variants will be available for sale, uh, at the shop. Oh. And, uh, yeah, so we're really excited about that. Uh, we're really excited awesome. about, uh, uh, we hosted a comic con up here, our, our very first comic con, uh, this year and hopefully yeah. we can convince you to come up at one point for our next one yeah, i was just gonna say all i have to do is find get a dog sled or something yeah 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 pretty much that's it me. yeah dog sled and uh uh we, we will hook you up but i uh, want to make uh, sure and come when it's always dark yeah yeah <laughs> like come, like whatever the time frame is that it's always dark that's right now that's right now right now that, that's literally right now right uh, now this is yeah. dark all well i mean it is nighttime but even no, it's a. Uh, uh, it's still dark. So yeah, so we did it. We did our Comic Con uh, during the summer month, and that is where it's the opposite. It's daylight, it's damn near. Right yeah. So disgusting. you have to have like the thicker curtains <laughs> and everything. I don't but, even uh, like daylight in normal places, oh, let yeah. alone like twenty four seven daylight. Yeah. Right now, um, uh, hey, what's going on, my man? So. Um, uh, four hours of sun here, but up in Prudhoe Bay, it's that's a wrap. There's no sunlight right now up uh, where Amy's at, and uh, for Amy up in the Gulf, uh, in the in Prudhoe Bay, that's where you see that extreme stuff in Fairbanks. Yeah, the sun's not coming back up till February up there. What? So that's nuts. Here uh, in this area where we're at in South Central, then uh, um, we. After December 22nd, I think it is, is uh, when we start gaining one minute of sunlight per day. What? Yeah. So, that is. <laughs> and then during great. summer solstice, during summer solstice, uh, that's where you start losing. A mi it's the brightest day uh, uh, of the year. It's the longest day of the year. There's zero, uh, zero darkness. Nuts. And then you start losing a minute of sunlight every day so yeah it's kind of the opposite That's and you crazy. just get used to it you know uh uh you've got a lot of military up here and they all yeah. uh, I, I would say they're split 50 50 you've got people that love it and people that hate it there's really uh it, i tend not to find people in the middle they it's just one or the other and you know uh if you're not into uh outdoor activities or uh yeah have just strong hobbies that keep you engaged during these months i mean yeah it's horrible but uh uh yeah people uh, especially with uh so up here uh, the reason we were so excited about this project being a 100 percent veteran project in terms of the cover part and it being your book uh you know myself being a veteran and then uh mike provo being an army veteran yeah. this just it just made it beautiful and up here in alaska we have the largest percentage of veterans per capita so it uh that's because uh, that's because you only got like two towns that people live yeah, in. yeah everything yeah, else yeah. is just you know. <laughs> well yeah the two the, well the two main the <laughs> that's, two, that's that's a weird flex bro yeah, like, yeah, listen, yeah 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 you like there's that only 200 people that live up here but like 99 percent of our vets. i think uh, uh what's the population up here i think uh 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 800,000 right now is the population, 800,000. And uh, there's only three comic book shops in the entire state. 
and uh, so it's uh, not surprise us, me. the comic shop in Fairbanks. Oh yeah, and uh, and uh, uh, got a monopoly. Bosco's. Bro. Oh yeah, big time. Blue Diamond. Blue We're Diamond. literally yeah, it, <laughs> pretty much up here. But uh, <laughs> the, so we have a uh, uh, the military bases are Anchorage and yeah. uh, Fairbanks. Those are the two big military towns, yeah. and then you have uh, Anchorage Kodiak. Is, uh, Elmendorf, right? Uh, yeah, Anchorage is Elmendorf, uh, Richardson, and then Fairbanks is Wainwright, uh, Isleson, yeah. and then uh, you have the largest Coast Guard air station in the world is Kodiak, and then you also have the Navy SEALs uh, cold weather out. team, <laughs> yeah. and then you've got uh, uh, the the yeah, so you have the Navy SEALs uh, cold weather training unit is in Kodiak as well, and then you've got uh, a couple of hidden operations up here uh, a lot of them are cold weather training facilities though like uh yeah, i would imagine um, oh damn it what the hell uh black rapids is uh one of the main ones uh, and that's uh, off by uh where you see like if you've ever watched like the alaska state trooper show the uh uh arctic man that there's yeah. a there's an army base there where they they train in uh the really cool like uh skiing and shooting type stuff you know the uh, it, it reminds me of remember uh, that character from gi joe snow job <laughs> remember yes. him yeah so th 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 they're like the real life guys there but they also do uh um the uh ah, what the hell it, it's the um repelling rescue uh they teach that up there as well nuts. yeah so it, it, it it's a crazy it, it's a crazy state when it comes to the uh, uh the military history up here held the military built yeah the majority of this uh if you look on our channel uh th there's also a video where we um we showed uh this hidden community it was a secret army base that uh they abandoned after uh, world war ii and now uh it's a population of about 200 people live there and the only way th to get to it is you got to go through a uh a, a a tunnel through a mountain it's a two and a half mile tunnel and it was uh, designed for, it has a railway in it. So you have to, uh, the train and vehicles Real can't thanks. go through it at the same time. It's got to be <laughs> one thanks. or the other type thing. And it's it's a crazy yeah, community. It's a, an old base uh, that was uh, literally, uh, so what's cool about that place, a lot of people were like, oh, how convenient that, like, for instance, to get to the school from the uh, living quarters is a tunnel. And everyone just thought that that was just a uh, uh, convenience because of the weather. It was actually, since it was a secret base, they didn't want the Japanese to be able to see any lights during the evening. So yeah. they built tunnel systems so that you can get around town and it's never jealous. have to inadvertently turn on a flashlight or something else that would give up the location of this deep harbor, uh, or this deep water harbor that was hidden there. So, That's nuts. Yeah, so it's just little things like that up here. Pretty crazy. Damn, well, sounds like you guys are having a great time. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, I hope that this variant somehow brings light to your dark days. <laughs> oh, my God. Brother, uh, we... Thank you so much for allowing us uh, uh, the opportunity to do this with you. With that being said, Absolutely. do you have any projects, uh, any other projects that you'd like to promote right now? Um, in February, we've got uh, Volume 2 of Good Boy coming out. It'll be on Kickstarter. Um, and then, I mean, that's basically it. You can also join my I, my Patreon, patreon.com slash some writer guy. Okay. Uh, Every you can get like free metal variants every month. Uh, there's uh, like every month you can get like ash cans and first issues and you know all kinds of stuff. So yeah, yeah, we'll make sure to uh, uh, put a link for that in our page as well, so that people know that to, to so get much. to you there. That's awesome. And then there was that one project on your Facebook page. Uh, the what was that book? That was the uh, once again that was um, Blind, Blind Justice. Justice? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that something that is already in print or not yet? Not yet. It's uh, we we are in pre pro right now. Um, the the series just got done being written uh, and it's being edited right now, uh, and it'll start uh, being drawn here in like the next month. But it'll it'll be out probably. It would be it would be in previews in like July, August, September, October. Right. So, but you'll be able to get it if you order direct from SourcePoint. You'll be able to get it at the same time. So. 
Yeah, and, and that's what we're doing. We're ordering directly from SourcePoint. Is, uh, 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 are you guys uh, or is SourcePoint considering going to any of the other distributors or not yet? Um, I mean, our, our big push is the direct-to-retailer stuff. We prefer to do things directly with the – if you're oh, going to go through Diamond, awesome. we would rather just – give you the books ourselves. We, yes. I mean, we do a ton of direct to retailer stuff. We're, che we're cheaper. We typically only charge like 45% of, of MSRP to shops. We do free shipping. We do, you know, yeah. like returns after 90 days. It's just awesome. So. Yeah. It's just a better system all the way around. Yep. I, 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 it's just been a blessing to meet you guys. And uh, here, hold on. I'll, uh, uh, I'll show everybody the cover of this book here. Let's oh. see here. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Is it okay for me to show this or? Oh yeah, you can absolutely. Yeah. Let me. Uh, um, yeah, this yep. is. A, I, I loved your cop. <laughs> your captain. Fuck Nazis. Yeah. yeah. Blind justice. The, uh, yeah, we blind justice is sort of like a, it's like the tick meets Captain America. It's sort of like a tongue in cheek poking fun at oh. age superheroes book. Um, blind justice and his sidekick humanity. It's the book is actually called The Adventures of Blind Justice and Friends. Um, it's oh, a lot of fun. Wow. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, we're so. uh, yeah, the the one thing too is uh, uh, hopefully we can have you back on the show, but we'd also uh, uh, like like to uh, get you over to uh, some of our friends at some point. Uh, spine ticks that usually follow this show, oh. and then uh, yeah, yeah, yeah they, and uh, man, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. And uh, we look forward to working with you in the future. Absolutely. Anytime, man. Thank you right. so much. Now maybe we'll drag you into a skit or something. We'll see what you're... Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll make the venture to the Great White North. I'm, I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. All, All right. right. <laughs> uh, uh, Amy, you heard him. You heard yeah. him. He can't... No take backs. <laughs> yeah, you tell me when to be there. I'll figure it out. Trudge through the snow. All right, brother. <laughs> well, you stay safe and thank you so much. Yeah, you Appreciate guys you. too. Thanks, guys. All right, take care. All right, bye. All right, guys, so that's Garrett Gunn from SourcePoint Press, the creator of some badass books, War Corns, uh, The uh, Blind Justice, and then now Postmasters that we're really excited about. And once again, guys, if you guys uh, uh, are interested in the cover, we will have this thing available for sale here shortly on our website. I think it's just going to be $19.99. Um, let me see here. Uh, I just had that picture here. I should have all this stuff at the ready. I've just been slacking today. Um, but uh, here, we'll just do this. Let's look. And once again, this is the uh, cover. Let me see if I can uh, fix this here real quick. Uh -huh. All right. I had it there. Let me see. Let's see if I can. Uh, my. Uh, oh, there we go. So that's our cover right there uh, by good old Mike Provo. And we're really excited about this. I think uh, for our retailer exclusives, uh, this might be our new favorite right now. We hope you guys enjoy it as well. And uh, oh, yeah, 100%. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm really feeling uh, the, the teddy bear. The, the stuffed animal storyline, I think that's going to be pretty badass. The, uh, uh, what was it? The Fear Diaries. I think that one here, we, we will have this available at the shop. Let me do the screen share. We're definitely going to have this book available at the shop, man. Uh, this Fear Diaries. And uh, just to show you real quick, uh, the other books that we ordered from them... We currently have the this uh, Yuki vs. Panda, uh, including the, we have number one. Uh, we have uh, 20 Fists. We ordered that as well. We'll have that in the shop. Uh, 
we have Darling in the shop right now too. So any of you guys that uh, uh, missed out on Darling, we do have that in the shop. Uh, we also have, so we have Good Boy coming in. We have uh, plenty of number ones coming in. Um, for those of you that were the suicide jockeys, uh, we're able now to order the rest of those here at the shop. We just need you guys to place your orders and we will hook you up. Um, let's see here. There's was another one that I grabbed uh, that I was like, man, I think these guys are going to love this. Oh, uh, this Apocalypse Girl. We've got this coming in. From uh, Les Garner. So a lot of books uh, coming in from Source Point Press. We're really excited. Uh, they should be here the next week or the week after. So, uh, And uh, we'll do a post on all our social media letting you guys know. So, guys, uh, once again, appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys supporting us. We know that you have your choice in what you watch on a Saturday. And for some crazy reason, you show up here every time, and we appreciate it. Uh, we will not have a show next week, but we will post uh, a video of kind of like our our favorite things that happened through a, kind of a summary of 2021 and all the great memories that uh, we got to share with you guys from our Connecticut trip to all the crazy stuff that happened at the shop. And uh, we'll do a blooper reel of some of the stuff that went on behind the scenes. And uh, Amy will be back for New Year's, and we will do a we'll start the New Year's right uh, with a couple of cool announcements of what we plan on doing. And we'll also be showing you a video of our new location at J Bear, which will be our second location. Uh, we're going from the kiosk into an actual storefront, so we got to do some updates in there. Uh, I got to start getting furniture and uh, display. Uh, display stuff for that place um guys we couldn't do any of this without you um so uh i apologize for the snafu at the beginning of the show uh that's the cost of doing things live but uh we really appreciate you appreciate all your loyalty and love man thank you guys so much and don't forget to like subscribe and share it only helps us and helps us to be better at doing what we do which is uh trying to uh, meet the needs of this comic book family and we just enjoy uh, this community as a whole this is probably one of the coolest communities you could be a part of thanks guys and we will see you next time